guitar has appeared in a couple of my videos um, and it was strung with three strings. As you can see, I've cut it down to one string, so it's essentially a, a diddly bow. Um, I can't play slide, this is my first attempt at it. Um, and what I did was I, I moved the string to the, the edge position, like the first of the three slots, so it was near the edge, because I found I was getting a lot of sort of clonking noises uh, with the slide like that on the edge. I still get that a little bit. But with the string on the edge and the, the high uh, nut being used, it's actually pretty good. The other thing I did, I always used to, when I tried this, I always used to put the slide on my little finger, but actually it fits better on my third finger, on my ring finger. And so it doesn't move around too much. And if I bring my hand round, um, that works pretty well. Um, I say I'm, I'm pretty poor at this, so please forgive my terrible playing. I know there's loads and loads of brilliant slow players on Cigar Box Nation. Um, but anyway, my first go. And um, what I'm playing there is, is a tune that I wrote, <laughs> stole from Heartbreak Hotel a bit, and then added a few bits. Uh, in a minute you'll hear the actual song, which is called uh, Dog Bite Blues. And I wrote this uh, because my poor wife Jenny was bitten by my, or bitten by our dog. Poor old thing, he didn't really mean to do it. He's a bit old and deaf and blind and she came in here with a cup of tea for me and he was asleep and then she, she made him jump and he just nipped her on the shin. It actually really hurt her. Uh, so he was literally in the doghouse. Uh, for a, a few days. We still love him, poor old thing. I'll try and get a bit of video of him so you can see him, poor old Jack. Things I picked up, and I'm sure you know this already, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you play over the frets, you know, not, not behind the frets. One thing I learned, uh, and I found this very interesting, when I was playing, um, I was getting... I was getting these overtones, so as I was moving up with the slide, I was getting this overtone note getting lower and vice versa. And I found out if I toe my finger behind, in other words, keep my finger down, damping the string behind the slide, that cuts that weird overtone out and you just get the fundamental uh, note, which is really good. Instead of video will pick that up and you can hear the difference you know I'm teaching my grandmother to suck eggs here I know you guys know all this stuff but there may be someone watching this who doesn't know that and obviously you've got to try and keep the, the, the slide moving the whole time when you're dwelling on a note rather than just sort of leaving it dry on the note missing notes all over the place. Anyway, I'll give you a burst of the song. Uh, what I've done is I've used uh, an app on my iPad called Loopy HD. If you don't know this app, it's fantastic, really, really cheap, and it's brilliant. I mean, I've contemplated buying one of these Boss RC300 looper pedals. See, lots of you guys use looping pedals on there, and I thought, yeah, I'll have some of that. Uh, but I've forgotten about this app, which I used years ago. You may have seen a, um, a thing I did called Airtime a few years ago using this app. It's an incredible app and you can get up to 12 loops on it and mess around with the volumes and things. Anyway, just to practice this, I recorded uh, a, a 48 bar loop and I started on the 12th bar, the 12 bar pattern, so that I could get the kind of uh, the pickup notes both on the vocal and on the guitar. And it worked pretty well. Um, so on this you're going to hear three loops, one is my vocal, one is a bit of bass guitar and one is a fairly sort of lumpy drum pattern. Uh, but I think it works well and it's a great way of practicing. So I'll let it loop through once and then out the other side and then we'll stop it. <laughs> Thank you. 
And it goes back in again and repeats forever. But a great way to practice. And as you can see, I'm, I'm struggling and there's a few bum notes in there. Uh, but I've really enjoyed doing this. And, and I figure the best way to learn this is on one string. Because obviously, you know, once you've got three or four of the things, uh, it's, uh, it gets a little bit harder. And I, I work towards that. Uh, you know, I never pretended to be a, a bottleneck player, a slide player, but quite enjoying the challenge. You know I mean? I like to, to try new things all the while. I'll probably stick with the usual stuff I do, but this is just a little bit of a, an experiment. Um, just so you know what I'm doing here, I'll just get the camera pan around so you can see what I'm doing. So this is the amp I'm using, which is a Roland Cube Street EX. It's 50 watts, um, 2 times 25. It's got two 8-inch speakers, got built-in effects, um, reverb and delay and chorus, uh, EQ. It's got about four discrete channels. You can plug a, a mic in there in the XLR, or if you haven't got an XLR, you can use it as an all jack-to-jack. I have to say, it's one of the best bits of kit I've ever bought. And what's really good about this, if you've got an iPad, is you've got this special channel here, which that little black mini jack plugged into. Um, and that, obviously, you plug into your iPad up here. And um, that's the app, Loopy HD. And it talks to the iPad. So you can record into the iPad from that, uh, from that, uh, Input for that is an input and an output. So it's like a, a, a handshake type thing works both ways. So you can play back from the iPad and record into it using one of their special uh, plugs. I'll just start the app up here so you can hear it. So I've cut the, the vocal out there. It's just leaking slightly through the guitar track. Just the bass guitar. Drums back in, put the vocals back in. Change the volume is very easily. Anyway, there we go. One of my uh, experiments there, and uh, time will tell if I uh, carry on doing this or not. But I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've got another three string guitar coming, which has been made by um, Shane at Rock Hill Guitars. And that'll be here within the week, I'm guessing. And uh, that's a straightforward three string uh, cigar box guitar. It's not uh, dulcimer uh, fretted. It's normally fretted like this guitar. Um, he's been working hard on that for me um, to my specifications. And I'm really looking forward to getting that. So that's a review to look forward to. Um, and anyway, I hope you enjoyed all this and I'll see you in the next video. The donkey lay the sleeping, didn't have a care. Jenny came up behind him, caught him unawares and then he bit her. He bit her on the leg He didn't mean to do it Something she won't forget The dog is kinda old He's going deaf and blind If he'd seen her coming He wouldn't have paid no mind But you know he bit her he bit her on the shin Now she's got a bruise A purple mark on her skin She's trying to forgive him She's trying to be fair He never heard a fly before He never even dared But you know he bit her he bit her good and hard He used to live in the kitchen Now he's out in the yard
This is the vicious hound. <laughs> you a good boy? You a good boy? <laughs> He's a bit old, aren't you now, mate? He's a bit old and ropey. Good old boy, though, aren't you? You a good dog? You a good dog? Boy. Not bad, are you, mate? Not bad. Poor old hound. The dog he lay the sleeping, didn't have a care. Jenny came up behind him, caught him unawares, and then he bit her. 